Hey guys, uh, out here with the uh, 1957 Ideal. This thing's an old classic. I love it. Had it for years. The story behind how I got it makes it even better. Um, so this graffiti was on it when I got it. This is the original paint. Probably been on here since 1988. This thing was uh, renovated in 1988. They redid the... Uh, the tires, the rims, the axles, and the frame. And they also did some interior work. Uh, I acquired it in the early 2000s, and I've had it since then. And uh, so what we're here today, we're going to test. We're going to take this power washer and uh, have this device. It's pretty interesting. It's a, uh, you've probably seen them on, come across your feed on Facebook if you have Facebook. It's a power washer driven uh, I guess you could say sandblaster, a wet sandblaster. So the power washer, this just quick connects on the rod, and supposedly it can suck up dry sand through suction through this tube and apply it, obviously, through a siphon nozzle. And we're going to see how effective it is. We're going to start here on this corner, and we're just going to start stripping it, see if it works like claim or if it'll work for this purpose. So anyway, I'm glad uh, I'm glad you're watching today. Let me go ahead and get started. All right, so I got it unwound. Um, this is what I'll be using. Now, wah, 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 sand is a little bit moist. So this might not work. Uh, as you can see, the texture of it, it's not quite dry. It's pretty fine because it's play sand, but we're gonna, we're gonna stick this nozzle in there. Stick it down and in, bury it, see what happens. Well, let's fire up the power washer and uh, get to it. See how she goes. Alright, so we got this unit here. Strap the uh, hose in. Not the most successful test in the world. Um, just that tip is really nice though for removing paint, the loose stuff. So it did get the loose stuff off. And lo and behold, what do we got below? A shiny metal. That makes my day to see that. Uh, got a little dent there. So we're going to have to reform that corner. It's mostly straight though, all the way up. But yeah, we'll do a little work. That little seam is pretty straight. The door seems bent, but. The beauty is it's shiny metal underneath. Now the problem I had was this sand is wet, so it didn't suck any up. Now there wasn't much backflow of water, so that's good. 
Um, but we're going to have to get a hold of some dry abrasive sand. We're going to use sand. Maybe I'll dry some of that sand out somehow. And uh, we'll come back and revisit this. Uh, let's talk about the, power, the pressure washer here. My grandpa, uh, who if you watched my previous video about the, the Murray 12 horsepower rider, I, uh, I got that for him. And uh, he's 80 and 88 and retired. And he likes to fix up small motors. So I gave him this power washer last year and he fixed her up, got her running. Uh, didn't even have a hose when I had it. It was uh, pretty rough shape. He, uh, he got it running. He loves anything with a Honda. We used to actually call him and my grandma, Grandma and Grandpa Honda, when we were growing up because they liked Honda so much. They had all different Honda cars. So, anyway, just thought you'd get a kick out of that. Good old Grandpa. Um, he didn't end up wanting that riding lawnmower. Kind of hurt my feelings a little bit, but I understand. He's self sufficient. He said, Oh, my yard's not that big. I don't need a rider, I just push mow it. It only takes me an hour. So, you know, he's retired, that's probably something he enjoys doing. So he said, why don't you take that mower and you flip it? It's worth quite a bit of money, Ryan. So I'll probably end up keeping it just for shits and giggles. Uh, Cause I really like it, I mowed my grass with it. Enjoyed it thoroughly. But anyway, stay tuned if you like this kind of stuff. You wanna see me do an actual test. Uh, with the proper sand or when this sand dries out. We're gonna try it with dried out this sand and then maybe we'll try some silicon nitride or some real abrasive if it doesn't work. Well, so far that tip is awesome for taking off loose paint. I may just do all the loose paint with that tip and go back and use another alternative method if the uh, whole sandblast thing doesn't work. But anyway, uh, thanks for watching. If you like this kind of stuff, uh, like and subscribe. Leave me a comment. That's my favorite thing is to read your positive comments. They always make my day. All right, have a great night.